What's going on guys, Santos here and I'm back with another video. Hey, so I'm at El Compa Robert's house. We've got Alex's 6'2 Denali over here. So he's been stocking up on truck parts for a couple months now, if not longer. He's got a full cam kit, a yank converter. Um, he's got a bunch of shit, right? So we're gonna be doing a full cam swap on his truck. I brought like big lips, wide hips out here. Uh, homie Christian's out here, homie Gabriel's out here. We're here, we're gonna be doing this cam swap. A ver cuánto nos uh, tardamos, get some footage. Show you guys how it's done. So let's go in here and see what these guys are doing. What are we doing? I don't know. What am I I don't know. I was just invited here. What are we doing, Christian? It's going fast. Hey, chill out. <laughs> hey. What's that uh, Cardi B song? I wear red bottoms or what? It's all red. It's all red bottoms. It's all red He didn't upgrade it. I feel like mushrooms in my feet, though. <laughs> They're soft as fuck. 10 out of 10. And so it begins, boys. Yes, sir. We got the end of the block, kid. The whole watch. The whole watch. Got the OG shirt on. What are y'all doing? Oh, no, you're the whole watch. I am the whole watch. Hey, watch out. All right, you're doing good. Fucking okay, Robert already took the engine out. Fucking okay, still trying to take the fucking air filter out and shit. How long do y'all think this is going to take? I don't know. Let it go tomorrow night. Have a game. Tomorrow night? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not rushing. He said, I'm not rushing, como si. My boy Robert, I got faith. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like five hours. <laughs> what about you, Christian? I won't give a fuck ages. I just... The heat pans. Well, up the cow. Hell yeah. My favorite. Check it up. Maybe a gallon. But as long as it's not on the floor, I don't care about the rest of it. Huh. And that's why we did that, because it doesn't have a drain plug and we didn't want the coolant to be all over the ground, so. This is not a how-to video. So what is this then? This is simply a vlog. This is what we're doing. Still disclaimer, don't do what we do. You were using it to take the hood off. How bad I got with your Robocop. Solo para banda. Oh my god. about a whole ass bitch. Is it really? Bitch, it's about to come off. There was some in there. But la raza. How much you think you're in right now? <laughs> it's on the table? Probably like four grand. That's the nigga low G. Put a nick down, put a Nina eight. We give him Moment of truth. Alex ordered a bunch of shit for a DOD delete kit, and he don't even know if he fucking has DOD or not. Yeah. We're fixing to find out. By the way, we just got back from O'Reilly's. We had to go get a uh, pulley puller or AutoZone, same shit. Santos litter. Yeah, we uh, had to go get a pulley puller. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Lopez Micheladas came through. Casa la saben raza. Lopez Micheladas hit him up on Instagram. If you're in the Houston area, he delivers best Micheladas that we've ever had. So hurt. hit him up. Oh shit, I got the hiccups. There it is, right there, boys. Hey, man. Hit him up. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah. Right. Ooh. So so far, what all have you removed? So far, I've gotten the power steering off. Alternator, the bracket, all the timing sensors, the coil rails, the fuel rails, all the wiring, the belly cover. The moment of truth to find out if I have DOD or not is if the lifters are on springs. Yeah. 
What's the general consensus so far? TD's, oh, what? It's going good. Running through the six with my woes. Yeah. Oh, he you know how to shit goes. Learn listen. that song. Huh? This guy just heard that song. He's from Mexico. Need... Well, boys, as you guys know, we went to uh, AutoZone and picked up that pulley puller. But it ended up being the wrong one. Alex actually was able to find one. I don't know where. I'll update you guys in the morning. But he actually drove out there right now, uh, wherever it's located, to pick one up. I think one of his buddies uh, has one. But yeah, he's out there getting it. Um, it's like 11 o'clock at night. Um, I got some stuff I got to take care of, so I'm uh, I'm a pounce for now. But I'll be back in the morning. Not sure exactly how far these guys are going to get. Um, the plan today was to just pretty much disassemble everything, right? Take everything apart. Y luego ya mañana, tomorrow, start putting stuff back together. So yeah, in the morning, I'll be back. I'll give you guys a rundown of what all they've done. And then, uh, of course, uh, just continue recording um, throughout the day. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and call it a night. See you guys in the morning. Hey, guys. So it's already the next day. We're back at Robert's house. It's... Uh, late 5 30 in the tarde 5 30 in the afternoon fixing to give you an update on what the truck looks like um the whole engine's pretty much uh pulled apart now for the most part um but yeah gonna give you guys an update show you what it looks like obviously the engine's all torn apart now so yeah making some progress the old cam right here we'll be throwing in a new one later today had to take the radiator out to uh, be able to pull it out. And then uh, las cabezonas. There's some header bolts that were broken inside. But uh, they were able to take them out. So what we got going on here? There's a couple of header bolts that broke off into the heads. And they're tapping them out. There it is. These are the new header bolts. What do you think of the progress so far? How you feel? Good man, I feel good. Go make some power. I hope. You know, everything looks clean. All the internals look clean so far. So. What's y'all's take? I think it looks good. Yeah. I have no idea what is going on. You're just here for, for moral support. Yep. I know yesterday, whenever I was leaving, I mentioned that he was gonna go get a pulley puller because the one we got from AutoZone was the incorrect one. Um, he ended up calling his dad. His dad had one, so. Here it is right here. Ended up going and picking it up. They were here till like 3 o'clock in the morning. I was already dormiendo. I was already asleep by then. But yeah, they pretty much pulled everything apart last night. Uh, for the most part, they've done some work on it today. As you can see, it's how it sits right now currently, obviously. Uh, working to get those, those broken um, header bolts. I think there's two of them inside the heads that were broken. But he was, he was able to take them out. So they're fit testing the new ones right now. The ARP is the one that you saw that Alex was holding. Uh, excited to see how it's coming along and then the end result, how much, uh, what it's gonna sound like and you know, how it's gonna drive, so hell yeah. There's a second header bolt right there that was broken. Bye bye exhaust leak. Doesn't compress enough. So what's he doing? Taking off all the uh, springs, the hats, the retainers, and replacing all of that. You going with Brian Tooley dual springs, titanium retainers. Pura calidad. Pura calidad. Okay, so the way that this compression uh, tool works, you see these right here. That's where these two studs go. And you set, you set this tool over the, the springs themselves, and then you tighten the nut. We'll start compressing. Taking the hats off. These are some beefy ass fucking springs. Oh yeah. Pura calidad. Well boys, when the spring compression tool that Alex 
order doesn't work. You just gotta make shit work. I'm never buying on Amazon again. Why? Just come to Irwin's factory. <laughs> Hell yeah. You make two. We're gonna get this patent. It's uh, there's a patent already. Pending. Pending. Delete all that shit. Delete all that shit. Uh, we didn't think this through very well. If you're gonna grab it, you're gonna fucking suck on it. Well, the ranch idea didn't work, but shout out to El Compa Lalo. He's, it was uh, bad. he's got an actual spring compression tool and uh, he's fixing to uh, bring it. So, hell yeah, shout out to El Compa Lalo. He'll come through and save the day for uh, Alex. Uh, you see this? It's history. If you wanna buy it, it's like a. Yeah, oh, yeah, never mind. He was that was your wrench that, too. He was gonna hang that on the necklace. Piece of chain. Yeah, <laughs> gonna be my piece of chain. You see, get it out. I was gonna give it, take, take it to Johnny Dane. Right, right, right. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> Seven eight. There you go. Close to my heart. Ya vas a empezar, cabrón. While El Compalalo shows up, they're gonna go ahead and uh, drop that little cam in there. Oh yeah, he's fixing to lube it up. Así como le gusta al compa Alex. It's a Texas Speed Stage 1 cam. No springs required cam. Isn't that really? Nice. Yeah, it's for a, especially made for four eights like this one right here. Oh yeah, you've done this before. I got my own chef. <laughs> <laughs> Lights. <laughs> Actually. Never mind. Pura calidad. Ahí en lo pura calidad. Pura calidad. But you bought that bullshit ass fucking. Eso no fue calidad. Spring compression. Eso no fue calidad. Now what's the torque spec on these? Oh. Have to have retainer bolt, Trox, and bolt. This thing is a Trox. Oh, fuck. And echo, Torx. My fucking. Trucks. What is it? Eleven foot pounds? Yeah. Eleven centimeters. Eleven foot pounds. <laughs> I don't. I've never done engines. Something's gonna be ticking. It's not the lifter. Process, some kind of in Espanol, in Espanol. Subtitles, Atención. <laughs> you gotta put the subtitles in that one. Hey, so what he's about to do is he's also swapping out the uh, the oil pump. He's already here, right? So I need the uh, Allen wrench. Here's the old one right here. Old oil pump, but yeah. Like I said, he's already here, so he's gonna go ahead and swap it out. Repeat that one more time. If this bitch blows, we're going 7-0. Mark that. The fan's gonna hold you to that. Someone clip it. If this fucking engine blows, he said he's gonna put a 7.0 in here. I'm driving it with my pinky toe from now on. Puro, puro leve. So shout out to El Compa Lalo. He came through. He brought his spring compression tool. The one that that boy Alex got was a no-go. You guys already saw that, pero hell yeah. Big shout out to El Compa Lalo for coming through. No, Lalo. Can I come Lalo? Lalo, you got YouTube channel? Nah, bro. No? I deleted it. The internet says otherwise. Me está raza, pa que se animen. Está tu el compa Lalo's YouTube channel. Pa que vean a la Cody. Cody Lux.
See, his goes down further. This one wouldn't. It wouldn't. No, it wouldn't go down that far. Head gaskets are in, both sides. Valley covers on. Puro pinche billet, aluminum kit. Alex went to Ash Wednesday, as you can tell. Damn it. Saludo a la raza. Saludo. YouTube. Bueno, saludo a la raza YouTube. Dallas Kaiko, say what's up. Eso perro. Driver's side head going on. Yeah, in Rasa, the heads are installed, push rods are installed, we're making progress. What's up? Day two is complete. Yeah, calling it a day. It's 3 a.m. I think. Or... Actually, it's 4. Fixing to be 4. 4 a.m. I'm tired. We got some progress. We took a, a much needed break for sure. Drank a couple beers. Drank a couple beers. Better I'll call it a night. That's right. Hey guys, so it's currently the third day of the cam install it's taken us a little longer than you know we planned but then again we didn't really have a set timeline right because it is the first time we do something like this one thing that we left off to order was the timing chain cover we thought that we were going to be able to reuse the one that originally came off the block but it turns out that we're not gonna be able to use that one we're going from bbt to, to non-bbt's so we have to get a uh, timing cover that fits or non BBT. Um, we looked around, man. We looked around last night. We barely found this out last night, like around midnight, right? That the um, that the timing chain cover, the original one, was not gonna fit. And that's because El Compalalo pointed it out. Hey, that's just not gonna fit. And we started looking. It was like, oh, it's not gonna fit. So we looked around here. The auto parts, uh, O'Reilly's, AutoZone, uh, Advanced Auto Parts. None of them had them. Um, Amazon was showing that it'd be here in a week, right, on prime delivery. And they're like, man, we're like, how can we get one? We need one, like, right now because it's getting close to finishing everything up. And then we hit up Manuel with Houston Horsepower Components. Last night, like, around midnight this morning, he hit me up. And he's like, hey, man, I got one. I'm actually at the shop right now. Uh, he's like, but I want to take it home with me because... I, I, I'm not gonna be up here at the shop. He's like, so if you guys want it, you can just swing by the house and pick it up. So, man, huge, huge shout out to Manuel. Um, he, for the second time now, he's bailed us out. I know the first time was whenever, when we were doing the gears, it was a Saturday. He went back to the shop, met us, right? Um, exchanged some parts we, we needed for, for the gears. And then uh, this time he's helping us out, bailing us out again with this uh, timing chain cover. So huge shout out to Manuel. Houston Horsepower Components. Um, if you got Instagram, make sure to, to, to give them a follow. Um, they specialize in making your shit fast. So if you want to go fast, hit them up. Welcome by Robert. Rocking that big list white hips tee. Came out. Brand new. Cop the merch. Cop the merch. Cop the merch. But yeah, we're going to go meet up with uh, Manuel. So hell yeah. Hey guys, so we just got back to Robert's. Um, they went ahead and installed the timing chain cover. But yeah, like we said, huge shout out to Manuel. If you want them to make your vehicle go fast hit them up there it is right there time in chain cover it's been installed what are we doing over here boys install a brand new trunnion do it again no mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. high quality h2o dallas keichel houston astro doing some trunnions all i gotta do is put the snap rings on and they're ready and install them monster Sponsor, uh, Irwin's Automotive. <laughs> so you're just installing the snap rims or what? Yep. What do they look like? What are you doing? Just making sure the jack stand ain't going anywhere or what? I'm holding up the jack stand. Man, straight. That motherfucker taking a nap on the job. <laughs> que barbaro.
I'm holding this way for him, make sure that bitch don't fall. Do what again? No. Come on, back up. You already got me on camera like six times doing that I, shit. I haven't gotten it. Well, that's your Still fault. Whose fault that's, is that? That's gonna, just do it. That way, when somebody says something gay in the vlog, he can flash back to you doing it. Do it, do it. A gift. Come somebody on, already did it. Somebody already did it. Just no, use want, that. Who's want that. the big lips while his version? Number eight. It's a Yahweh. Así te quería pescar. You want a hoe? Checking to make sure that all the valves are working now. Good? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Driver. Here. Pause. Or, mm. oh Manuel, no, no, look, no, no. he loves you so much. Intake he... Manuel Falls, bolts. <laughs> <laughs> Intake Manny. Shout out to the plug. That's all I got to say. I'm a clean ass engine bay now and a dirty ass intake manifold. I ain't had no time. I've been bowed up, man. Hey? I've been up. fucking bowed up. I don't know my <laughs> I just cleaned them, oh, I just cleaned them. Fuel injectors going in. We'll just push it off the trailer. Okay, go what? get you. Well, things are falling in place. How you feel? Good, man. Happy. Robert, excited? All I know, all I know is I built this bitch, I get to do the first hit. Touch <laughs> your ass up. If I break it, I break it. You gotta break it in, bro. We both gonna break it at the same time. You built it, I drive it. It's... No. We you're, both you're get driving this. Don't compare to mine. We both get that satisfaction. Someone's sitting on someone's lap. I'm driving this with my pinky toe, man, because I don't want to put no 7 0 in it. Power steering pump going in. <laughs> We're so close. I'm only doing housekeeping, man. Hey. We're so close. Right there, don't we? Got everything plugged in. Injectors, coils, spark plugs in, headers on, gas lines. intake, gas lines connected. Look at what we have over here. Everything's plugged in, batteries connected, ground is connected. Ready? No, I'm nervous as fuck. Me too. Alright, go ahead. <laughs> well boys as you can tell we're definitely excited uh definitely excited for alex uh but also excited for robert right they put a lot of hard work and i say they because they mostly did all the work i just kind of stood around and helped here and there pass a wrench right but recorded most of the time but hell yeah man we're definitely excited for for alex for robert this is a big accomplishment for them uh it sounds badass you guys saw obviously it, it turned on um we're not there yet, right? There's still some finishing touches we have to do, but we wanted to uh, make sure that we got everything we needed, you know, uh, so he could start it up and and uh, and see what it sounds like. But hell yeah, man, it sounds badass. Let us know what you guys think in the in the comment section below. Man, this thing is nasty. I can't believe it. Still got the trans. No, we still got a little bit of work to go. A little bit more. Pulling system, trans. Be done. Finishing touches. Drive shaft. Congrats, bro. First one. Hell yeah. Hell First yeah. one, Hell yeah. Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> That's been doing business out. with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got to go. We got to go night-night. Oh, yeah, we got to get out of tomorrow here. So we can come do this again. We out for the night, boys. See you on the morning. Hey, guys, so we're back at Robert's house. Pretty much water pump, alternator, electric fans. Alex right now is working on installing the cold air intake. And he also picked up a catch can um, that Robert's currently working on installing. 
as you guys can see, there it is right there. So the guys that are watching the video more or less understand what the catch can is supposed to do. What's, what's its purpose? It helps keep a closed loop system and it catches all the oil, gas, water, condensation, whatever that's inside your, your system. Your system and it catches it and it helps increase your, your miles per gallon, all that bullshit. Which here, you're gonna go from six miles to a gallon to 6.5 miles to a gallon. It's miles per gallon that matter. Why is your dad gonna be disappointed in you? Cause he told me not to do this shit. <laughs> do what? Cam it, anything to it. What did he say? Keep it stock, just drive it, don't, fail. don't do nothing to it, blah, 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 all this shit. And then oh, you said, I'm even out on that story. Hell yeah. You should make a TikTok, bro. <laughs> don't, <laughs> don't cam your shit. And then you should fucking put, I didn't even know this story and put the video of you turning it on. As you guys have seen, we ran into a couple roadblocks while doing the cam swap. The first roadblock we ran into was the tool that we bought for the spring compression. The quality of the tool was, is not what we expected, right? And if it hadn't been for El Compa Lalo coming through, man, uh, we would have been in, in, in a bind. So huge, huge shout out to Lalo for coming through, helping us out. It was a Saturday night. We hit him up kind of late in the afternoon. And he said, hey man, give me a little bit, I'll be there. So yeah, huge, huge shout out to El Compa Lalo. Make sure to subscribe to his YouTube channel. Follow him on Instagram if you, if you haven't followed him yet. Um, I'll put both his Instagram um, account information uh, down here on the screen somewhere along with his YouTube channel. Make sure you, you check him out. And also a huge, huge shout out to El Compa Manuel with, uh, Houston horsepower components. Yesterday, Sunday, um, we ran into our second roadblock of this build whenever we went to install the timing chain cover. Um, so I hit up Manuel like around midnight um, Saturday and I asked him, hey bro, do you by chance know where we can find one of these timing chain covers? And he hit me up first thing Sunday morning. He's like, hey man, he's like, I got one in the shop. I'll run over there and pick it up. He's like, uh, whenever you guys are free today, Y'all can come by my house and pick it up. Huge, huge shout out to Manuel, Houston Horsepower Components. Uh, hit him up on Instagram. Visit his location here on Spencer in Pasadena. Customer service is A1. I wouldn't be telling you guys this if we didn't, you know, if we didn't feel like, you know, his customer service is A1. All right, guys, so we just got everything back together the way it was supposed to be, 100%. About to fire it up and see what it does. cam installed we got to where we have a good stopping point everything else everything in the engine bay is good it's done we're gonna worry about the torque converter on the next video you guys will be able to see that other than that man it, it's a wrap and it, it we got oil pressure no leaks so yeah let's catch you on the next one dallas kaiko out that's it boys first one in the books let us know what you guys think in the comment section below thank you for the support peace